Tracy and Jackie, it was a combination of old school detective work and the latest technology and DNA that gave the boy back his name. His story was never forgotten. Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw today recognizing the decades long effort to identify the boy we now know as Joseph Augustus Zarelli, but who for 65 years was known as the boy in the box and America's unknown child. This child's tragic story was always remembered by the community, the Philadelphia Police Department and our partners. From the moment little Joseph's body was found discarded in the woods in the city's Fox Chase neighborhood, Philly police has worked tirelessly to identify the boy. But it wasn't until the advancement of DNA that police were able to work with a genealogist, Misty Gillis, to get an ID for the boy. We build out genetic networks of the biological cousins of the DNA sample, and we look for where those genetic connections marry into each other, and we build down the family tree. From there, Misty worked with police to help confirm familial connections. There was a lot of legwork on the detective side and a lot of co uh, collaboration between us on giving them tips on who to speak to and what DNA profiles would help me. Ultimately, they found both biological parents and then a birth certificate for the boy. What was that moment like when you got the name? Tearful. It was very tearful. I, I felt very relieved. I grieved for him and it was very emotional, but it was such a rewarding moment too. And Tracy and Jackie, police aren't identifying the boy's parents or siblings, but sources tell us, or I'm sorry, the investigation is continuing into what actually happened mm -hmm. to the boy that led to his death. And coming up at five, we'll look at the generation of detectives who've spent decades working on the case.